Welcome to another bonus episode of Sports and Songs Podcast. This is your host, Dan. Today is May 19th, 2021. Focus of this podcast will be St. Paul's Museum of Baseball History. Now, last week, I was able to visit the City of Baseball Museum within the confines of CHS Field, where the St. Paul Saints play. I wanted to go see a St. Paul Saints game. They're the new AAA affiliate of the Minnesota Twins. Got there a little early, checked out the City of Baseball Museum. It's a free museum. Got to get into the park first. With the price of your ticket, you can do a tour. They allow cameras, and you can kind of go along on your own pace to check things out. Uh, I would set aside 20 minutes to do this. What I'm going to do is go through a slideshow here of some of the things that I found out inside. There's about 25 photos here I'll go through. I'll put them on a slideshow setting interval of about seven seconds. Talk about each one. Feel free to pause. Zoom in if you need to. A lot of interesting history of baseball in the city of St. Paul. J.D. Drew played here for the Saints. There's a pair of his cleats that he wore when he played. Isla Borders, remember she was the female pitcher for the Saints. There's her glove, left-handed pitcher, female. Kevin Millar got his start coming up here through Minnesota Saints, uh, St. Paul Saints, played with the Red Sox. Daryl Strawberry, war number 17, there's an autographed jersey of Daryl Strawberry. Here's a picture from inside the museum. You can walk around there's Isla Borders there on the left, Kevin Millar on the right. There's various displays showing jerseys, old stirrups here, rosters, programs. Roy Campanella, he went on to go to the World Series of the Brooklyn Dodgers, started off here with the Saints. There's an old photo of Don Zimmer. Don Zimmer goes way back, spent a year with the Saints. There's Ray Ordonez on the left, went on to go up with the Mets, win a gold glove. Daryl Strawberry on the right, it's a photo of the 1995 St. Saint Paul Saints playbook. Look close, Wayne Terwilliger is one of the coaches. I also got a chance to watch a little bit of the game here. We played the Iowa Cubs AAA game that I attended last Saturday. Great venue for baseball. Here's a map of St. Paul, Dunning Field, Central High School. There's where Dave Winfield grew up. There's where he lived. Um, Jack Morris was nearby. Creighton Durham Hall was nearby. Paul Molitor. Here's an old bench from the Lexington Park field in St. Paul. Old seat from Lexington. George Hallis, Papa Bear. Played a year with the St. Saint Paul Saints. Here's Lexington Park, now demolished. Old time footage. Old photos, here's another old jersey. There's a good session on the uh, colored baseball history as too, as well. Uh, the St. Saint Paul colored gophers. There's a championship title, American Association, St. Paul Saints. I think that was 1954. There's a photo of the Knothole Gang, 1927, outside Lexington Park. 1935, Babe Ruth on hand. It's a barnstorming, autographed baseball. Leo DeRocher. There's a good uh, little display on him as well. Here it is. Scrappy shortstop. Played with the Saints in 1927. Went on, played for the Yankees a long time. Lefty Gomez also spent time with the St. Saint Paul Saints. Duke Snyder. Lots of big names. We can't forget Jack Morris came in and played at age 41 as a pitcher for the St. Saint Paul Saints. 
There's George Hallis, once again known for his football at the University of Illinois. Jack Morris autographed jersey. This one's kind of hard to see, but it's Leon Durham, the bull. That's his actual Cubs jersey he wore when he started for the Cubs. But he also played for the Saints. There's the Ray Ordonia's actual gold glove he wore. Uh, he won with the Mets. There's a J.D. Drew autographed jersey. He went on to play for the Dodgers. There's his cleats we talked about earlier. Game worn cleats. J.D. Drew. Now we're back to the beginning. All these and many more items can be found at the City of Baseball Museum. Great spot if you get a chance to stop by. Got to get a ticket to get into the game first, and then you can go through. No drinks or food are allowed inside the museum, but you can walk through at your own time, at your own leisure. Go quickly through it. There's an entrance, and you wind your, wind your way back through the exit, and you exit on out. I was probably there for 30 minutes. Very interesting in, uh, items there. A lot of people don't know that this exists, but they did open this museum when the Saints opened CHS Field back in 2015. I also didn't know that. Information on our podcast can be found here, Facebook, Twitter. Follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and on our blog. Andy and I have a lot of posts, usually Sunday morning on Anchor, Saturday morning on YouTube. There we are with the Hams Bear. A lot of good information out there. Free to subscribe. Please leave your comments below. And also suggestions for future midweek bonus episodes. Today's May 19th. This is your co-host, Dan. Thank you. Thanks for listening.